hey, here I have a bunch of headsets, so we can debunk the biggest lie in VR. You see all this glare on a micro OLED headset? So let me show you the Crystal Super now. Same test, zero glare. And this liar saying we have the best lenses and hundreds of videos reposting this lie across the whole internet now. Big screen can make hardware. With our second generation device, yeah. uh, I really want to prove to the world that we make the best VR pancake optics. And, and I'm, I'm hoping the world will see that. He chooses his words very carefully, not saying the best lenses, but best VR pancakes. So here is a Quest Pro with a three years old pancake lenses. And it has a single faint reflection, more like a soft diffuse cloud around the bright object. It is way better than the Beyond 2. So the guy was simply lying. Just like lying with all the claims about the micro OLED having perfect blacks or even good colors. Many people will say this HMD test will make any headset look bad. Well, Pimax Super proves them wrong. But more importantly, I play Breachers and VR Chat. I do not even care much about OLED. Because those games look great even on my old Quest Pro. And I have not seen much glare even playing the same games with a micro OLED. This lift is the only place I can spot some lights reflecting with a double image. But obviously all micro OLED fans will say they play horror games or maybe go to VR chat music events with all the light shows and etc. And your micro OLED headset will look like garbage with all the glare washing any black and destroying any contrast in those walls. I was shocked how bad micro OLED looks. It is worse than my Quest Pro in the C in the same levels and games, sometimes even having glare in bright rooms, like these windows making double reflections. So Pimax Super is the only headset that actually looks good in the Half-Life Alex today, with the Quest Pro being a close second. But many people will complain about the Mura on the Pimax headset. That is not Mura. It is your headset back left because you have the wrong screen settings. You need to turn the brightness all the way down on the Pimax Super to make it look like OLED, to make these games look dark. You need to turn your local dimming all the way up to 100% and you can adjust your game gamma if you want to make your games look even darker and adjust contrast too. But obviously many people do not understand those settings, including even some big YouTubers. And we should not blame them. We should blame the Pimax here. Why we make these settings so complicated? Make some simple presets, like vivid color profile for deep blacks and saturated colors, if people want to look like that, a neutral profile and maybe a couple more. Learn from camera companies, they add film simulations or a black and white dial and they call it a feature, cause clearly people do not understand how to adjust brightness and colors themselves. Same for people complaining about the Pimax lenses. You cannot use this headset with glasses. Pimax should slap a huge warning label to not use the headset with glasses. And we are learning, we are offering free prescription lenses with every headset purchase. If you buy an expensive 4K headset and then use it with your glasses, you won't even be able to see the difference in clarity without the prescription lenses. So yeah, Pimax Super is the most impressive headset in terms of visual quality right now. It is not your crappy budget beyond micro OLED. By the way, if you have watched Pimax presentation, they literally are calling on Beyond 2 Alternative a budget entry-level micro OLED headset that is made to compete with the cheap headsets like the Quest 3, not these high-end 4K models. And the Dream Air 4K micro OLED model will have good panels with no resolution or refresh limits, with good brightness and colors. 
Pimax Chiascom film that in the presentation. And MRTV guy kept saying that is the best micro OLED. Now he said it's the best headset he has ever seen. So Super OLED modules are shipping from October. And it will be interesting to test it and see it for myself. And Pimax is even allowing to test those modules free for Super users. So we can actually choose QLED or Micro OLED we like more. And they are giving a free halo strap and prescription lenses for all Dream Ear pre-orders as a gift for the delay. And the Dream Ear headsets for reviewers will start shipping from November and pre-orders from December. And guess what Beyond does for their customers? A few people have decided to cancel their Beyond 2 pre-orders after seeing my last video and they have been charged for the prescription lenses and custom face cushion for the order that still showed shipping estimate two months in the future. So big screen delays the Beyond 2 pre-order, then charges the customers if they were dumb enough to give the money in the first place. And you can check the whole Beyond 2 video here or face tracking comparison between the Quest Pro and Play for Dream in this video. And thanks for watching, leave your comment. Are you tired of all nonsensical Beyond 2 claims about the micro OLED and best VR pancakes? And have you tried any of the recent Pimax headsets or planning to try the new Dreamier after all MRTV claims about how it is the best micro OLED? I'm not sure, the through the lens video looks good, with a single diffuse glare looking very similar to my Quest Pro lenses. At the same time, MRTV guy is a salesman. Hyping any new headset, it is always the best for him. But it's only a month left, till we will be able to find out it for ourselves. With a super micro OLED models shipping from October.